Hey, cute stuff. Hey, boo. Hey, welcome to another message with me, Duchess, because we're going to find out the real tea right here, right now. General Collective, take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. And yes, it's timeless. I got these new little nosy cards, but they got all these different little sides. It's like I can read from the right, the left, the front, the top. So I'm going to mix them up on the table and see what the tea is, baby. So we're going to pull this one from the top, baby. Look, it says your advice is appreciated. So it looks like there's somebody that you showing up for, that you're helping, that you're leading in some way, guiding, maybe just giving a word of encouragement to, okay? There's somebody here that you lifted up their spirits, you there for them. There's somebody that you there for that actually is appreciating you. This is good, baby, because I remember a few days ago with somebody that was ungrateful. Well, this is not that person, okay? This is somebody that knows when they have a good person in their life, okay? They know good people when they see it they know how to appreciate you and this is coming out okay let's find out another one here look okay so they're saying that you've helped this person guard against some sort of losses okay you're helping someone here to not end up in a really crappy situation so it's like what you're doing don't sit there and act like it's nothing it's like spirit is saying here that right now you're really helping somebody on a high level to stay out of some sort of sticky situation some sort of crappy situation it's like you're the eyes and ears for somebody you're the third eye for somebody you know what i'm saying you got to be somebody else's intuition because they not really there you get what i'm saying so you like look okay look bro look sis like look i see a few red flags okay or they like well i'm trying to do this well hey i know how to do that let me let me help you out let me show you what's good okay so this is not unsolicited advice because you know how to act because this is very solicited advice this person here is coming to you okay or people whoever this is groups of people is coming to you because they want to make sure that they don't experience some sort of loss in their life and so they're really sitting around thinking about how much they appreciate you during this period of time okay look we got to start living your own life so there's something here where spirit is saying here that you really really help this person you've help them overcome a lot of things but this is a time for you to really focus on yourself okay and to know here that this person's troubles are going to vanish so i feel like spirit is saying here you've done a lot this person appreciates you but you don't got to overdo it okay you don't have to overgive. you don't have to over bend over backwards you don't have to exact any more appreciation out of this person like none of that okay that ultimately this person all that you've been doing to help is working their troubles will soon vanish and there's going to be happiness ahead okay so spirit is saying here now that you've help that situation help that problem it's time now for you to shift back to yourself okay it's like you've helped you problem solved you showed up you know what i'm saying you gave the right advice you came in very honorable real authentic genuine helpful give yourself a damn applaud okay but spirit is saying that now it's time for you to carry through with some plans we gotta carry through with your plans okay that's something that you're supposed to be following through with now so it's like it's not time to continue to help whoever this person is with whatever they need so if it's like spirit is saying this okay if this person is still needing you more you may have to you know kind of draw your energy back because spirit is saying they really don't need you more their troubles are vanishing okay they're they're fine they may not think they fine but they are right and on the other end here say that you're just overly worried about them you don't have to worry you could be like you know what they're gonna be okay okay they are divinely protected i did my part now it's time for you to carry through with your plans you didn't help you didn't done, done your part you didn't showed up you didn't been of service and now it's time for you to receive some sort of benefit here let's talk more about these plans that you need to show up for and focus on spirit give us insight here spirit give us insight here for the collective what do they need to know oh lord okay the spirit is saying here it's the time for you to really <laughs> take care of yourself because this is what's happening okay spirit is saying here it's like this a person this is what's going on okay 
Spirit is saying that there's going to be a lot of blessings for you as you follow through with your plans. But this for this person as well that you're helping, there's a lot of blessings for them. But it's time for you to not spoil this person is what it's coming down to. Okay? Spirit is saying it's a time for you to not spoil this person. It's a time for you to really focus on you because they're saying that this person is gaining some sort of, of, of knowledge, awareness, help from you. But this is getting to their head a little bit, okay? They're becoming a little bit of an egomaniac from whatever you're helping them with. And this is meaning they start getting entitled to your energy, entitled to your help, entitled to your advice, entitled to your guidance, entitled to your leadership. No! We got that, the spoiled one, okay? And the rose gold, bougie and spoiled. No, we don't like this, okay? Egomaniac, entitled, dominant, over-assertive. That's exactly what's going on here. So it's like spirit is saying that this person doesn't necessarily see things clearly, right? And that they need to learn how to trust in the overflow. They need to learn how to trust in the blessings that's coming and not hold on to you as, what do we call it? A crutch. Yes. Okay. You are not this person's crutch. And so spirit is saying, yes, you did the damn thing. You helped them out. You showed up, you supported, but it's not your job to now be the crutch of this person. Okay. It's your job to focus back on your life. It's your job to go back with go back into your happiness. Okay. Go back to your plans and things that you got, because ultimately there's something about this person that's distract distracting you. Okay. There's a distraction from your own happiness. And, and the more you give to this person, unfortunately, you think that you're helping them or supporting them, that the more you do it, all you're doing is making them dependent upon you. So they're going to become codependent, right? And then they're going to get mad when they're not entitled to your energy or entitled to your advice or your help or your support. Like, no. And this is human nature. And so this is why spirit is saying here, this can happen anytime you spoil somebody. So you got to, you know, hold back. Hey, I'm busy. I can't really talk about that. You got it. You good. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do. Somebody tried to pop in my inbox trying to get a pat on the back the other day for their graduation. Mind you, this person's 40-something grown, okay? And I don't even mess with you like that. But you want a pat on the back so bad? No, I'm busy. I ignored it, okay? I, I completely ignored the statement. Didn't care not to be a bitch, but you know we're not on good terms. So why are you hitting me up? So it's something like this person starts to just need your validation so bad. Yeah, but they're not supposed to be coming to you for validation. They're supposed to be meditating and going to, in prayer or meditation and reflection, spiritual guidance. So you're being told to step down here because it's time for this person to understand that they need to get guidance spiritually directly, not from you. They don't need to constantly come to you because you got things you need to be focused on right now. And so this is something here where I'm feeling like they may try to push or guilt trip or let's see here how is this person going to respond once you know they're not getting the same advice because we know they supposed to become entitled at some point you know they may already be getting there they may you may already be seeing signs and signals of them becoming entitled so let's see here what is going to happen here as they draw back from this person what's happening here See, this person here is going to start acting thirsty, but this is because of some sort of childhood wound that they have. And this is what spirit wants them to be enlightened of. Okay. They're going to start acting thirsty because of a childhood wound that they have. Right. And so they, it's like, they're saying here that they have some sort of transgressions that came from a childhood wound that they have. And this is going to make them very thirsty for your energy. So it's not necessarily you. It's this childhood trauma that makes them feel like they need this validation. They need this advice. They need this help. They need this support. They real thirsty for it. But Spirit is saying here that this is something they inherited here. This is how I know it's family. We've got the inheritance and the mother-father catalyst car. You get what I'm saying? Ancestral inheritance. Yeah, it's like this person has childhood wounds and it's like, they can't put their demons onto you ultimately is what's being said. So it's like, yeah, you're, you're helpful. You're supportive. You're loving. You're kind, right? You're giving. But at the same time, it's like, you're being told, don't let this person start to become entitled because that's not even the direction they're supposed to be going in, okay? For some of you, this could already happen. This person trying to become entitled. But no, they're supposed to meet their maker. They're supposed to connect with source. 
the spirit guides, the angels, ancestors, gods, whoever the hell they're supposed to be connected with, but it's not supposed to be you. You're not supposed to be Captain Sabum right now. No. Okay. We got the lovers. The sun. The moon. The three of wands. The hand man. See? Spirit is saying here that this person is going to be in a midst of confusion as you don't really help or, or step in. But it's best to allow this to happen now before they start getting too domineering and start trying to act like they running something because they're not running anything. Hmm. Yeah. It's going to be hard work moving forward with this person is what they're saying. It's going to be very hard work. Tell us more here. See, there's something here you're supposed to be moving towards justice with. That's what I'm getting here. The high priestess and justice. There, you're supposed to be following your intuition to move towards justice. So spirit is saying it doesn't even matter what this person is going through, how they're going to react. They're saying that what you need to follow through on, focus on, put your energy towards is way more important than this person's childhood trauma wounds because that's not your job to fix that. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's your job to live your life. Let's go back to that. I said, start living your own life. Yes, amen. Okay, it's your job to live your life and it's their job to work through these childhood wounds and to work through trusting in a higher power rather than trying to sit there and drain you and become an energy vampire and a control freak because that's not really that fair for you at that point. So it's like Spirit is saying, you've given, you've done, you've loved, you've sacrificed, you did all that, right? But you, the buck stops here. You, you've done enough. You've done enough. There's more, nothing more that you need to give this person, help this person with. You've done enough. It's time for you to focus on you. It's time for you to focus on your own self-love. Yeah, it's time for you to focus on forward movement with the Six of Swords. Yep, we got the sun. It's time for you to move towards your happiness, okay? It's time for you to move towards your happiness. We got here the Four of Coins. Look. What you're holding on to is an abundance, a prosperity, a happiness, a joy in your life, right? And this is what you're supposed to be working towards. And this is what you're going to be working towards. Amen. Most definitely, right? So right now is the time you're being told, and I'm hearing for some of y'all, this is multiple people that's constantly needing you, not just one person. It could also be people at work. You know, you trying to work on your side hustle. You trying to work on your purpose. They keep calling. They keep needing something. Screw, screw. No. Okay. This could be friends, family members constantly calling, needing something. No. Okay. Maybe you're working on your love life. Maybe you're working on your body, your spirituality. Maybe there's some, you know, crazy idea that you focused on and it's just wild and crazy and successful and amazing. Whatever it is here, that's what your focus shall be. Not whoever this person is. It's like they're going to want you to focus on them. And so spirit is saying you need to cut that now because it just becomes worse and worse and worse. And they become more entitled, entitled, entitled. And then soon enough, you're going to have a tyrant on your hands if they ain't already got to that point, baby. And one thing we don't need is a tyrant. And one thing we can't stand is a tyrant, quite frankly. All right. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff. Check out my cute angel number t-shirts on my website. Link in the merch section below all right boo i'm gonna be talking to you later bye